Oh, no, we can't be live. It's Thursday. Folks, it's Thursday <laughs> night. Welcome aboard to Murder Hobo Inc., a special boredom buster game tonight. Uh, tonight, we've got three players, as is our custom. Um, and we'll get to them in just a minute. But first, I have to say, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our cool stuff. It's down there. If you want to chat with us, it's down there. Everything is down there. Uh, if you want to see, hit us up. We'll try and get you in. Now, Saturday is campaign, so Saturday is locked out. Uh, and we'll see if I can kill those fuckers at Battle Keep. Uh, but that's neither here nor there, because tonight is an entirely different uh, episode. That's neither here nor there, because tonight is entirely different. that's me. <laughs> I oh say. my god, I was in stereo. Uh, and with that, we'll start with Heidi. Heidi, who are you and who are you playing tonight? I'm Heidi. I'm a sometimes player on the Boredom Buster games. Um, tonight, I am playing Maggie, and she is a rogue assassin. Is she Maggie May? No, Magdalene. Okay, thank God. I didn't want to pay Stuart any more money. Might be Maggie, may not. <laughs> oh, yeah. nice. Uh, and with that, we segue into David. David, who are you and who are you playing? Hi, my name is David. And uh, yeah, Murder <laughs> Hobo. Yeah, I made it. Uh, still alive <laughs> for now. Uh, I'll be playing Torvig. <laughs> Torvig is a dwarven battle rager. So I'll be playing him tonight. Mm. Oh. Uh, last but certainly not least, uh, Carol. Carol, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Hi, everyone. I'm Carol. I'm a longtime player, sometimes GM, and commissioned mini painter. And tonight I'm playing uh, Luna Hades, my <clears throat> goth gnome grave cleric, because, you know, life is short and it's shit. It's what's <laughs> on here that matters. It's what's for dinner in Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, tonight, if you got to see the title card, uh, you know that these guys were not exactly witness to a murder, uh, but are now hot on the trail of said killer. Uh, the small seaside unnamed community that they are at uh, was there for a respite for them to get drinks and food and lodging and all of that shit is gone because everything is a mess now. They have gone to the city square where they heard the shouts and the screams. They have gathered enough information to know that they are chasing Kara Dunaway, adventurer, uh, who is the primary chief suspect uh, in a homicide involving a merchant in the town square. Uh, the witnesses have then pointed them out towards the coastal outline. And when they reached the beach, they found the footprints. There's only one set of footprints, so it's either Kara or Kara's being carried by Jesus. Uh, in, in Green Room, Maggie has had certain questions that haven't gotten any answers. So we shall begin, three brave adventurers. You reach the beach. There are no warriors. There is no guy with three pop bottles. For you youngsters, Google the warriors. Uh, what would you three like to do? The footsteps lead north, where a shadowy outline is several hundred yards ahead of you. Shadowy outline of a what? Bipedal human being, most likely. Oh, okay. Can I, I try to make sure it's Kara? You're too far away. Okay, well. Speak up on her. Shall we try? I'm going to start running after her, I guess. Fair mm. enough. To your left are the not real high cliffs and not of Dover. To your right, the lapping waves from the ocean hit harmlessly along the uh, beach. Uh, as you begin to run, what is each of your movement speed and or are you dashing? Um, my movement speed's only 25 because I got short little legs. Yeah, I, we're, um, we're both we're both low riders, so we're 25 feet. <laughs> yeah, I'm 30, and yeah, I'll dash. Okay. Uh, going in alone, Maggie's puts the party already. Yep. Uh, Maggie, give me a perception <laughs> check. Find. Jeez. Oh, okay. Perception 23. 
Uh, you notice that the other party is also dashing and seems to be maintaining a good speed. However, you also notice a collection of something ahead. Ahead of the person who's running? Uh, ahead of you, next to and or near the person running. Okay, I will take out a dagger while I'm running and I'm going to continue. Fair enough. As uh, Torvig and Luna fall back on the wayside, Maggie is on a dead sprint. Uh, the closer you get, the more you begin to notice what it is. Uh, about 200 yards away, you notice a small collection of blue burrows, which uh, are uh, uh, indigenous to the region. Uh, they are so-called blue burrows because uh, their fur, or I'm sorry, their hair is blue. Uh, you notice uh, the individual has driven themselves into the collection of these normally peaceful creatures. Give me an insight check. All of us or just her? Just her. You two are not within range. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> 19. The Smurfs are trying to get catch up. <laughs> 19. You notice, A, you have far exceeded your companions and are doing it alone. <laughs> you also notice the other individual seems to be human, elvish, half-elvish, uh, is in the middle of the burrows and is rousing them up and takes out a hand crossbow. Oh, crap. Lowers We're it. Attacked by Smurfs. They're blue. And cranks one into one of the burrows. Out. And oh. it causes a stampede. You now have a herd of <laughs> blue burrows coming oh, no. right <laughs> at you. Uh, oh, oh, you. no. You have about 175 yards to do something. What would you like to do? Are they right next to the cliff or? They're they are forming a phalanx, a spearhead, if you will, mm -hmm. with the lead with an arrow shaft sticking out of his ass <laughs> or a bolt shaft sticking out of his ass. Um, OK, well, I'm slowing down. And if I need to, I'm going to go into the water. OK, that's fair enough. Uh, Torvig and Luna, give me perception checks. OK. Yeah. Perception. Fourteen. Twenty. <laughs> you're starting Ready to get starting start to get winded. You notice that your associate Maggie has slowed her roll, and that this wall of something is headed right for her. Maggie, D twelve against me. Seven. Eleven. Uh, they're headed right for you. Give me a history check. 19. Uh, blue burrows are not afraid of the water. Oh, frack. Um, <laughs> do I look like I can climb? Does it look like I can climb up the cliff a little bit? <laughs> Give me an investigation check. Eight. Uh, while not completely shale-ish, uh, there are several handholds that might allow you to rise above the five-foot creatures that are charging towards you. I am going to try and do that. I'm going to try and climb. Uh, Torvig, Luna, you notice that your associate is now making a beeline towards the cliff, and as the forms come into view, uh, you can tell that they appear to be animals, possibly donkeys. Uh, Maggie, uh, you spot a section of the wall that you think is suitable for climbing. Give me uh, the athletics check to climb up. Oh, boy. 15? Yes. Uh, you climb up. Give me a D10, please. Four. Uh, you climb up four feet, uh, and you have a little bit more room if you want to try it again. Yeah, I want to try again. Go ahead and do an acrobatics check out plus two. <laughs> Five. 
Oh, acrobatics. I'm sorry, 11. Good enough. Uh, you climb up another foot just as the horde of blue burrows come trampling through. Uh, you notice that the lead burrow does indeed have a bolt sticking out of its ass, and it is very upset. Uh, as it travels past you, you may dr now drop down. However, mm -hmm. Torveg and Luna, you now see the charging beasts headed your way. Yikes. Well, I mean, it's not going to be great, but I'm going to try the same thing she did. I'm going to go to the thing and try to climb up, which yeah, is going to be really funny. I'm going to charge forward. I'm going to dash forward towards the cliff. Nah. <laughs> oh, towards the cliff. Towards the cliff. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were charging the burrow. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go ahead. I, I may be crazy, but I ain't that crazy. <laughs> Go ahead. Charge towards the cliffs and uh, yep. give me acrobatics. Uh, wait, are you sure it's not supposed to be athletics? Not I'm that sorry, athletics. Athletics. Oh, okay. no. That's a five. 20. Because I like uh, Luna, D12 against me. It's going to go well. You pick, yeah, naturally I get a three, so you get four. Uh, one of the younger burrows is going to go ahead and try and accidentally kick you in the face. Oh. For, for one hit point of damage as the herd moves further down. Uh, about, about 100 yards past you guys, uh, they slow their roll and they go into the water. Maggie, uh, you have dropped down to the safety of the sand. Uh, you've noticed that your associates have also climbed the sidewall like you did. Uh, you look back north, you do not see your quarry. <sighs> look for footprints. We successfully yeah. got evaded. We'll, we'll catch up to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna start looking to see where she went and let them catch up. Okay. A lot of hoof prints all over the place. Mm -hmm. uh, as you move past them, give me an investigation check. Seventeen. You find her footprints. Uh, she seems to have taken a page out of your book and moved towards the uh, shale cliffside. And as you look up, there on a precipice, it's an old stone tower. Ah. Is she still on the cliff face, sir? I'll need another investigation check for that. That is not going to be it. 10? Uh, you, you catch a glimpse of something uh, right at the very top. It's about 30 feet high. And there's foliage along the top of the ridge. Okay. I'm going to uh, try yelling. Okay. I'm just going to stop. We're trying to help you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't say that very loud. No. Torvig and Luna come up. Help <laughs> 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 uh, their blessed borrow impression. Yeah. Uh, Maggie, give me a D20 roll, please. Straight up. Ah, never mind. <laughs> then, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, there is no response. Okay. Except for small rocks. Yep. Raining down. Uh, you also spy what appears to be a safe ledge, kind of zigzagging its way up. Mm hmm. You got to climb up that. It's only 30 feet, like eight times your height. <laughs> yeah, my climbing ability to climb is bad. <laughs> Watch out for rolling barrels. <laughs> well, I'll climb up and throw a rope down if you guys need me to. That would probably be good. Uh, okay, as uh, Maggie, Maggie, do you have rope or do you need rope? or? I have 50 foot hemp rope. You should be fine then, because it's only about thirty feet high. But you're going to make a, you need to make a series of three <coughs> DC fourteen versus dexterity checks to avoid getting hit by loose shale. Mm. Okay. So take roll them one at a time, too, please. Yeah. So dex check that one's seventeen. Ten feet up. 
<laughs> Seven. And you fall. <laughs> <laughs> it was only 10 feet, thankfully. So now I start with the 10 feet, the three rolls again, or? Yep, but that's a murder hobo. That's six hit points of damage as you land on a rock. Ow! Uh, meanwhile, uh, Torvig and Luna, <laughs> your associate lands between you, and she kind of limply tosses a rope to one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, really oh, nice try, Lass. <laughs> what about you? Are you good at climbing? Torvig? A battle Tor rager? Oh, he's got strength, I would assume. Yeah, I'll uh, give it a shot. <laughs> well, you're me? climbing the rock. Well, I'm climbing the rock. <laughs> Welcome to the rock. Uh, yeah. So, uh, are we going to do this three, three times like the like the one before? Mm -hmm. Okay. Am I rolling DC fourteen dex? Okay. And I'll hand you the rope. Uh, let's Sorry. see. Good, good thing you mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seventeen for the first one. Yep. Ooh, not so good for the second one. Five. <laughs> no. Uh. Another murder elbow. That's six points of damage. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> the good news is, uh, Maggie and Torvig, now that you know where the loose spot is, you get to roll your second one at advantage, but okay. not your third one. All right. So who wants to go up? Luna's just rolling straight if she does it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this That's is deck. I know I'm this is gonna go well. <laughs> 21 for my next one. Okay. Yes. Um, and Torvig is 17. Second one's an advantage. <coughs> yeah, we'll go with the first score. <laughs> yeah. 13. The next Maggie, one. Maggie's past two. Okay. Um, Eighteen for my last one. Maggie is atop the cliff with the rope. Okay. I will assume that Torvig surrendered the rope as he started to fall. Uh, sure. Maggie, give me a perception check. You're up on the ridge alone. Nine. Woolly cows are off in the distance as the area slopes like the white cliffs of Dover. To your right, hanging over a rocky pre precipice, is a two-story tower. And you hear a loud, screeching metal-on-metal -metal noise. But no sign of your prey. Are those war cows? I don't know. She'll have to go investigate it. To find out. I am <laughs> putting the rope down and waiting for them to climb up. Give me a uh, performance check to make sure you know how to tie it off. <laughs> 14. Sure. Uh, she lashes it to a Stonehenge like boulder. Uh, odd Torvig, uh, even Luna. Even Luna. Uh, the hemp rope smacks you on top of the head as it lands. No damage, uh, but there's the rope. You now have advantage climbing the entire thing. I was like, I just kind of look and sigh. I'm like, it figures. This is how it always goes with life. Advantage, huh? Gnomes complain, complain about everything. All right, so 18. And it's not 14, it's just 10. So advantage. To get yeah, 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 18. And I make it. Luna's up. Torben. Okay. Actually, roll good. <laughs> okay, since it's at advantage. Okay, next one's better. 18. Yay! Okay, one more? Or one more three. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, that's better. Uh, 21. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you said it's at advantage, right? <laughs> Shitty rolls tonight there, Torvik? Just at one. <laughs> uh, that is 18. 
So uh, Torvig is up on the ledge. Uh, Luna, Torvig, you see woolly cows grazing, kind of half-assed paying attention to you. To your right is a two-story stone tower uh, just hanging over uh, a ledge of rock. Do you know where she went? I heard noise coming from the tower, so that might have been her. Okay, well, oh, is this, is this, this, this is all rock up here, right? No, grass, high grass, the cows are grazing. Mm, can we possibly see if maybe there are footprints leading that way? I will take investigation check by anyone who wants to look. I mean, I'll, I'll look. It's also quite breezy <laughs> up here. Let's look, I'm not that good at it. Nope, I have no clue. <laughs> now uh, I'll I'll take a gander. Uh, let's see. Uh, investigation. Uh, fifteen. For the footprints. There is kind of a worn path leading over to the tower, mm -hmm. and a lesser worn path towards the cows. Hmm. Okay, a lesser uh path going towards the cows. Mm -hmm. Warned path going towards the tower. Tower. That, I'm conveying that to them. Okay. No footprints that are fresher going one way or the other, right? War cow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that on chat. Okay. So what? What's the what's the plan, lassies? <laughs> left or right? <laughs> Which way are we going? I'm thinking it's left. I'm thinking it's towards the castle. We somebody heard she heard a door close. That's to the right. That's the tower's right. to the right. 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 Oh, well, when you're pointing, it's my left. <laughs> okay. Is that pacing you? To the tower. Okay. Oh, yes. Or, okay. You go to the tower. Uh, there's a small gap, uh, very insignificant, uh, and there's a, there's a slight overhang where a rusty portcullis is there. The landing on the other side of this gap will allow two of you to go ahead and jump over and see if you can lift this heavy, rusty portcullis, and I'm sure you're all uh, good on your uh, tetanus shots. So, who wants well, to... you know, I am. I'm wearing spikes, man. <laughs> so, who wants to jump over this very minor gap? I'm not that good at jumping. I'm not that good at the, you know, exercisey type stuff. I'm not that good at. It's like uh, it's like jumping. a foot and a half. What's Mind that? the gap. <laughs> it's like only a foot and a half. Not very big at all. Come on, you can do it. I am not. Very strong. I suppose I could try to get over there, though. It's a foot and a half. Well, <laughs> so I, I know I can get over the foot and a half. It's just lifting the portcullis. Right. right. That's what right. I'm trying. To, which two of us are actually better? I'm pretty sure he is. Right. And my Apparently, friend, Luna is completely worthless. On the <laughs> it's only a plus one. Just keep those heels coming. Well, it's better than mine. <laughs> oh, then I will go do it. So no. Luna and Torvik are going across the gap. Yep. Yeah. Give me straight up D20 rules. You uh, obviously don't want a one. <laughs> Ten. Oh, no, five. It's not a one, though. Okay, you both managed yeah, to uh, mine the gap, jump over, and you're looking at this rusty portcullis. Uh, everybody give me a perception check. Oh, that's okay. Uh, 17. Uh, 11. 13. Bless you. Uh, all three of you hear a scraping noise and look up to the second floor where you do not see Kevin McAllister throwing a paint can, but instead you see a female throwing a rock at Maggie. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, dodge. Uh, so that's disadvantage for me? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's an uncanny like dodge. Uh, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Uh, 10? Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, you, you see <laughs> her throw a rock out the second story window at you, but you manage to sidestep it, and it falls harmlessly away. Uh, Torvig, Luna, you hear it, 
uh, and you're trying to figure out how to get this portcullis up. Okay, I'm gonna hey. try, to, try to lift with my legs. <laughs> you know, lift with your squat. neck. That's where the string's at. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, just a string, uh, straight up strength roll, or yep, strength okay. check. Oh, this will be good. <laughs> yeah, we hope. <laughs> oh, I have a bet. That's thirteen. Uh, uh, strength, um, uh, sixteen for Torvik. So twenty nine total. Mm -hmm. uh, reluctantly, the portcullis gives, uh, and it manages to get up about a foot and a half because you guys are diminutive. Uh, mm -hmm. It is clear that uh, you're going to need to prop this thing up, but because both of you are straining, you may need to go, uh, Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> is there something? You might want to try to slide in in there first and he see if there's anything shit. yeah just okay yeah i'll try to help steady it i guess fair enough so all three of you are holding on to the portcullis yep another rock comes down but because you're underneath the alcove it falls harmlessly away okay one nice. of us needs to try to get in get in there and try to see if there's something to prop this up with yeah, that's yeah. Nice. From your view, you can see several old timbers and some small boulders that would suitably chalk this thing up enough to where you could crawl underneath. Oh, yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, on the grassy <laughs> knoll, the cows <laughs> need to watch you. They're, they're entertained. <laughs> so who wants to let go also, Maggie, give me a strength roll. Please. Oh Lord, I was, I was thinking okay. maybe I'm just gonna slide through, and we're gonna keep holding it. Strength is thirteen. So I have two thirteens and a sixteen. Who wants to let go and hope that the other two are strong enough? Well, uh, uh, Luna, was, you're the smallest out of all of us. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if she's better. Um, she better to put the no. Don't you let go? Um, well, now, no, I'm not going to let go. <laughs> who's the best person to actually wedge something in there? A little short me or tall or her? Uh, give me a insight check. Oh, God. Now's not a time to flip a coin. <laughs> um, oh, that's 15. You're short. You can, you can slide underneath with the least amount of trouble. Oh, okay. Well, I know she can too. Uh, all right, I will. Uh, Maggie, what are you? But you're I'm a half elf. elf. Yeah, no, Luna, you're. What are you, I'm Luna? No, I'm again now. Yeah, no, it, it's definitely you. From your insight roll, you know it's got to be okay. you. Okay. Right. So you, can't, you don't think the half elf can limbo? Well, <laughs> you know that your 13 and Torvig's 16 was enough to hang on to it. You also know that Maggie got a 13. Yeah. So, so that would match, and you being shorter. Uh, no, it's fine. You, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Also, yeah. no, I'm slightly stronger than Maggie, but that's fine as long as it. All right. So I, I got it. <laughs> I tried a very. There, there's a slight, slight dip as the exchange goes. Uh, they manage to hold it steady. Luna rolls underneath, notices in the dust several sets of footprints, some old timber some old rocks. Uh, you grab as much as you can and you start stacking it up underneath the portcullis, which is about yay gap. Uh, and you think, you think you've got enough to keep it up. <laughs> so do you guys want to let go? I guess. Uh... Luna, yeah. Very tentatively. Luna perception check as well. God. Oh, Lord. Um, that's good perception, though. Where's my perception? Uh, 21. The area behind the portcullis is a small uh, alcove entry chamber. It's only uh, 10 by 10, uh, but it's got a wall opposite the portcullis. As you enter on the right, there's a door with a heavy lock on it, and to the left, there's an archway leading into a larger room. Okay, Maggie, Torvig, you feel lucky? Yeah, or do you just want to yeah. let it slam shut and fuck Luna, she's dead? 
You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know it's almost happy hour at the tavern. <laughs> so, I know, right? I'm going to be okay. We've got money. <laughs> <laughs> let, I'm going to very carefully let go. Okay. Yeah. Cody and the Destroyer, everybody eases off of it. And indeed, Luna has Roll. been able to find items to, pro uh, to prop it up. Torvik rolls underneath, erasing all the footprints. Maggie, would you like to climb under as well? Yes, please. As you crawl under, you hear... Crawling faster. <laughs> but you manage to get underneath. All three of you are in this small alcove. There's a door with a rather sturdy broken lock on the outside of the door and an archway leading in. On the back wall behind, uh, opposite the portcullis is uh, the name Lobegon Tower. Lobegon. And can we tell which way the footprints went? Uh, you could have until Maggie erased them. Well, I was in there, so could I see which direction the footprints? Plus, she didn't go. They so went through the archway. Yeah, the arch that's the archway. what I figured. I figured she, whoever it was, didn't take the time. To Unless she could the... mage hand and lock herself into this other room. No, that's true. Possible. And there is some scraping noise from that room. Yeah, we did hear metal and metal. I was thinking that was probably the portcullis. Okay. Yeah. Uh, or um, that. Yeah, let's go let's let's go check the arch arch room. Okay. So I'm putting away my well, I put away my dagger when I was climbing, but I am taking out my rapier. Fair enough. And you're going underneath the archway? Very carefully, yes. Do Looking do. and making sure. This large chamber is quite breezy as most of the far wall has fallen off into the ocean below, and the exposed vista leads to wind a whipping about the room. Broken bunk beds lead you to believe that this might be where troops lived at one point in time. As you scan the room, you catch movement on the ceiling from a green bipedal creature. It drops and looks at you with its oblong head as it screeches another pair climb in from the broken wall. Oh, Three um, green creatures with thistly appendages. Any kind of check for this? You know what they are? Arcana, but highly unlikely. Yeah, not for me. Uh, ooh, natural 20. Ooh. Uh, but uh, with the arcana, it's 21, so... I don't know, maybe closet? You're a, what are you? Uh, I'm berserker. Dwarf? Mm -hmm. you, Dwarf. Uh, you're, you've heard tales of these things, but you thought they only lived in subterranean caverns. They are called chokers, and they have the ability to walk on walls and ceilings. They try and choke their opponents to death before eating them, if their opponents are Thanks. lucky. Everybody roll an initiative. Roll initiative. I knew, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I knew it. Tough to beat. Uh, uh, initiative seven. Oh, God. That's mine, too. Oh, God. Uh, got to roll well, off. <laughs> I got a dirty 20. I got an 18. So, Maggie, with the rapier, would you like to advance and attack one? Not yet. Um, I'm going to try and get my back to a wall. Are you want to back it up into your associates or back up to the right against that wall? To the right against that wall. That's fair. And hold your a action, I take it? Yeah. If they come close, I'll stab them with my rapier. They come very close as they have a movement rate of 30 and scurry towards each one of you. Oh, crap. Yeah. They also get two attacks. Lovely. On Maggie, uh, the one does the UFC jump off the wall move at you. <laughs> uh, with a natural one and a six, it slips. You will have advantage on your held attack on Torvig. <laughs> a two and a one, you will also have advantage on your attack. Uh, and now, Luna, Luna, I'm going to get two double points. Two 
20s. Uh, an 11 and an 18, so a 16 and a 23. And 16 misses, but the 23 hits. 1d4. It's always, 1D4. it's always me. I forget eating. Two and five. There you go. Seven hit points of damage as it's spiny little mitten of a hand nails you. We'll start with Maggie who held her action or held her fight. Uh, so Maggie, go ahead if you want to attack or you can just sit and hum. <laughs> that is actually 17 to hit. That hits. They are AC 16. Okay. A little bit tougher than their challenge rating. And 11 points of damage. Oh, yep. that's nicely done. Uh, next up are the two sevens. Nice job, guys. All right. Do you want uh, yeah, I'll take a, I'll take a swing. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, hopefully she's not in the way. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to go ahead and attack. Remember, at advantage. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yours and Maggie's. We each have I had a pretty good roll for the first time. <laughs> so uh, 19 plus 8. Yeah, that <laughs> so, is. All right. And that is, uh, woo, okay, like that, 12 plus 6. So 18 points of damage. Your choker dies. <laughs> nice. Are you using a great axe or great sword? Great axe. Uh, he slashes its stem to stern in a potent strike. Luna, you're up. Um, I don't think I'll cast Bane because I was thinking of that. Um, just blast it, Lass. <laughs> uh, make a make a come oh, get out of the way. <sighs> My thing's being stupid. Uh, but I will use uh, I'll cast Sacred Flame. Make a Dexterity check. Save. Sixteen plus two, sixteen. Oh, for frick's sake! Fine. Uh, top of the order, dirty 20. Why? I hate saves. <laughs> Especially at this level. <laughs> oh, okay. So, is he still on the ground? Do I still get advantage? or No. No advantage this round. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. This would be the Demogorgon out of uh, <laughs> Stranger Things. Oh really? Uh -oh. That, That's what they look like. like that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that is eighteen to hit. That hits. And this is eight points of damage. Uh, pokes through its oblong head and kills it as it slides off her weapon. <laughs> there is only one left. Nice. It goes after Luna. Press it does. Uh, 15 plus 4, or 15 plus 5, and 4 plus 5, so a 9 and a dirty 20. Dirty 20 hits. Why can't you roll 1 and 2s against me? That would be lovely. Oh, that was close. That's a 4 and 5. <laughs> so a 9. Not good. Ah, uh, that's my shot. Torvig, you're okay. up. Okay, swing that right about a better swing. Ooh, not not good. Uh, ten. Not good at all. Luna, you're up. Time for a little payback. All right. Well, this time I'm gonna try. I know it's not. Um, does it take it out? Any hit points of damage, but I'll still try to toll the dead. I think is it's a uh, wisdom thirteen save. For the uh, sixteen oh, on the roll and plus one seventeen. Nope. Uh, you make it. Luna is worthless tonight. Uh, Maggie, finish <laughs> this wretch off. Hey, let me <laughs> make it with rolls. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Not with that roll. That's nine. It oh. misses. I will take D12 from all three of you. <clears throat> One. Eight. Six. Uh... As it leaps to the ceiling and begins to scamper off, only Torvig is in a spot that he can get an opportunity attack. Yeah. All right. Wait a oh. minute. How can that be? He was meleeing on me. And I think. Right. He was. Uh, 
he was also me, he was so meleeing Torvig too. Yeah, but that means he's in my reach. Well, wow. let me. Well, let me see if I got the feet. I don't remember if I have the feet. See if you can hit him, Torvig, while he's uh, looking it up. Yeah, nineteen. Yeah, no, nope, mine. I don't have it, anyways. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. it's uh, only eight points of damage, so I'll only nick him. Wounded, he scampers over the side of the wall and disappears from view. Little Wait. fucker. <laughs> you want to see where he went or just assume that he's gone? I have no desire to chase him. I'm going to cast yeah. cure wounds on myself. Mm -hmm. So in this room, which is 40 by 30, most of the northwestern corner is gone, and it just fucking over the side it goes. Uh, okay. You, you can see the ocean out uh, but there is still a ceiling. Uh, in the northeast corner, there are two archways leading to other areas of exploration. I will take audio perception for both. Or I, I will take audio perception by all. All right. All right. All right, all right. That was cocked. Uh, that was terrible. Uh, the, the audio perception of uh, 15. 14. No. Eight. They're higher than me, anyways. But Maggie, Maggie and Torvin over uh, Luna is chanting to heal herself. You hear noises from the far back room in the northeast. Not the first alcove, but the second. Second? Okay. So uh, I say I hear I hear some noises coming from that that room, the second room. Okay, I, I'm gonna try and sneak up to that doorway. To see in, see what there is. The second one where you heard the noise? Yes. Uh, looking into the, through the short alcove, uh, you notice that there's a missing wall just on the inside of the left. Uh, but you do see, <coughs> excuse me, you do see that it is a medium sized room, uh, presumably at the back of the tower. A lit fire with a boiling pot of pleasant smelling fluid uh, is along the exterior wall in the northeast, and a table in the center has a variety of cutlery items. It appears as though you have discovered a scullery kitchen. Several small items are on said table. Is there anybody in there? You want to peek in? <coughs> Bang! The frying pan hits you in the face. <laughs> uh, oh my! Give me a Constitution save. This is the McAllister uh, uh, house. Sixteen. <laughs> uh, you, no, you I'm are, sorry. Uh, Fifteen. You are a little bit stunned, but you are not unconscious, and you quickly regroup uh, as a turtle. A human-sized turtle what? jumps out in front, throws the frying pan, skittering it across the floor, and whips out his quarterstaff with one hand, spinning it around like he's from the sewers and has a rat sensei. Oh, <laughs> I will take initiative, but Maggie is the only one in melee range as she's blocking the alcove. So if Torvig or Luna want to do anything, it has to be missile or magic. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's nine. Just teen. Nineteen. Hopefully he doesn't turtle that head. I'm going to try a, a hand axe throw. Uh, what's your initiative? Oh, initiative. Damn it. Forgot about that. That would be helpful. Uh, ten. Uh, Luna, you're at the back of the pack. Uh, you notice Maggie staggering back from a glancing blow from a frying pan, who knew? Uh, and you can make out what appears to be, uh, God, I can't remember who was, uh, who was the turtle cartoon that always wore the musketeer hat? And? It was a Hanna-Barbera. Something tur. Oh, I know I what you're talking about. I picture him, I have no idea. Uh, and was anyway, it the was it D'Artagnan? I can't remember. I just know it was Hanna-Barbera. Anyway, that's who you see. 
And he is spinning that quarter staff like he knows what the fuck <laughs> he's doing. Whoa! So, Lula, I, what you got? So I could see him, right? Uh, you can kind of see him <laughs> around Maggie. Okay, now <laughs> I'm going to try guiding bolt. Say something worked tonight, will it? Nope. Uh, Maggie, That's magic nice. goes whizzing past your head. Uh, <laughs> And the portal is going to oh, oh, oh. give me DC 12 versus wisdom, Maggie. Oh, Maggie, OK. That's oh, a 19 on the die. Uh, you feel magic course through your body, but then it flitters away, and there's no ill effects. Apparently, this thing is a spellcaster. Oh, boy. You are up with a 10, followed by Torvig with a 9. Um, OK, I'm going to just kind of step back. And we're looking for someone who we thought ran in here. Have you seen her? <laughs> Fair enough. Torvig, you're up. <laughs> All right, and I kind of back her play. I'm like, oh, turtle power. <laughs> it's just like, this uh, This fight's not for you. <laughs> so if you mind standing down, what you fixing smells quite good. Persuasion check Maggie, persuasion check Torvid. Torvid. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, 13. Ten. Torvig? 10. Fair enough. The turtle looks at you. Uh, <laughs> Luna, you're up. Mm, Top of the order. Insight check on that? Can I get an insight check on that turtle? You can, but you're only quasi in view of him because he's directly in front of Maggie, even though she stepped back. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. She stepped back. Yes, yeah, so I'll give you an insight check. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, so mighty. Um, third at 12. He kind of ponders the situation, and you see. As his lips are moving. <laughs> wow. um, he, he ain't giving in. <laughs> I was a 13 and a 10, he ain't. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Everything I do in friggin' is a disaster. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. That, you've done your insight check. What do you want to do now? I just don't know. Everything in friggin' roll is just crap. I'll Just try it again. When in doubt, sacred flame. <laughs> is that what you're doing? Take out 13 wisdom save because you probably will. No, seven, sorry. Seven dex. plus two, nine. All right, it's I was dex. All right, well, that makes it. That doesn't make it. That makes it for me. I don't think it's leveled up or anything, right? It's just 1d8. Mm -hmm. Yep, 1d8. Uh, five points. Don't done. do that. They, we gave you a chance. Oh. Boom! He thunder waves it. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Do we make deck saves or constitution he, saves? He is going to do some serious damage uh, to everything. You guys are going to do deck saves, uh, DC 12. Dex? Okay. Yeah, or be propelled into the wall behind you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I go flying. That's only 10. Okay. Yep. Uh, Dex, uh, 19 for Torvig. I'm a nimble little thing. Luna? Nope. I'm, I'm a quick, so. Luna and Maggie? Ooh. Uh, take five hit points of damage. Stones begin to fall, and a rift begins to erupt. Uh, in between you and this freaking <coughs> portal, you see, well, you don't see shit yet. Give me perception checks. Uh. Maggie and Luna, minus two to your roll since you guys are flying backwards. 
Perception only six for Tarvin. Okay, that would be a four. Uh, Twelve. Luna, uh, you notice sand, dust, dirt, debris just fill this area, clogging Maggie and Torvig's view, who are trying to make sure that the walls aren't falling down on them. And you see a shadowy figure also tip over and slide backwards. You also notice that there is a discernible rift now in the floor, as well as some of the ceiling blocks are now missing. Uh, that turtle, who doesn't appear to be very nimble, is going to have to jump across a, we'll call it small chasm, as you guys will, in order to fight him. Uh, next up in the order is uh, the 10. Maggie, uh, pick yourself up, brush yourself off. Yeah. Um... I, are there any stairs? in our half of the tower that we can get to. There's, the other, there's like, the other archway. Okay, I'm gonna try and get over there. I'm done with this. We're looking for somebody. <laughs> so- How um, do you know that's not Kara Dunaway? Uh, doesn't appear to be the person we were chasing. It does not. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get <laughs> go over to the other archway. You stagger into a small alcove and successfully find stairs going up. Okay, so I'll just yell out, hey guys, there's stairs over here if we want to go check out the rest of the place for the person we're chasing. The not quite smoke, but uh, cloudy nature. Uh, you can see her form moving towards the alcove. Torvig and Luna, you can kind of see the turtle Kind of stuck on his back, but he starts to rock back and <laughs> forth. Um, you aren't sure if he's strong enough to flip himself over. You just know that if he's got one more of those spells, you guys are all fucked. Uh, yeah. So next up, nine. Torvig, what do you want to do? I was just like, fuck you, turtle, <laughs> and head to the archway. <laughs> Crawling through the dirt and debris, you make it into the alcove. Top of the order, Luna. All right, so you said I saw a figure that was not the turtle, right? It was the tur turtle. He was flipping on his back. Uh, yeah, he, he was also affected by the blowback because the wall behind Maggie ricocheted the thunder wave back at him, and he did not make his roll either. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. So, no, I'm like, uh, screw you, turtle, and, and I'm going to go with them. Okay, you guys are all in a small alcove with stone stairs leading up to the second level. Uh, all sorts of noises, what? creaks, and sounds will be heard. That's where she was, so... But this... it's very narrow, so only room for one of you. Who <laughs> wants there. to go up? I'll go first. Um, I'm going to look to make sure that nothing, well, trapped in the sense that it's not going to fall out from under us type of thing. Correct, and I made a mistake. These are wooden stairs, but since you mentioned it, give me an investigation check. 17? You notice that each tread has a footprint on it, except for one, about midway up. Okay, um, when I get to that one, I'll let them know, avoid this step. Uh, nobody stepped on it. It'll probably make you fall. Or trigger a weapon or something. Yeah. That's Maggie, as you continue up the stairs, you walk, you walk, you walk, and you get to the top of the stairs, and you observe an overturned box at the top of the stairs. Give me a perception okay. check. Uh, 23. You hear a row. Okay, I'm going to look around as stealthily as I can. I don't want, like, just looking like this. Sure. Uh, who's behind her? Uh, let's just say me. Uh, yeah, straight up D20 roll. Uh, 13. Okay. 
Yeah, so you remember to step over the tread. Uh, Luna, your third. Give me a. I, know this, I remember. I will. Um, say well, let's say. Uh, let's see if you do. Let's see if you do. <laughs> you said it two seconds ago. Why would I forget when I even remember out a game? Which is because Torvig's butt is so spectacular. And you're not that. Big, even <laughs> I don't care. Uh, Maggie, you notice in the dust and debris here, you see two things. One is footsteps, and the other are S's. Oh, sh and then you figure out why. It seems as though the box must have contained a swarm of rattlesnakes. Ah! <laughs> oh. Initiative for the rattlesnakes. Uh. <laughs> Oh, they're out. Well, how else do you defend your area? <laughs> <laughs> snakes. It had to be had snakes. To be snakes. <laughs> Initiatives. Uh, uh, initiative for Tor Torvig is 22. Maggie's 12. And I'm 15. Uh, Maggie is taken aback at the appearance <laughs> of the serpents uh, and realizes that she may or may not be able to leap up and over. Uh, the snakes all come to the top of the stairs and it's a swarm, so there are several of them, uh, but they do not come down the steps. They are on the box, over the box, around the box, and right on the top step. <laughs> so they hold. Uh, 22, Torvig, uh, Maggie ain't moving. Uh, <laughs> uh, at, do I hear the snake? Perception check. Yeah, okay. Uh, that would be 14. Yes. You and hear the rattles. That would not be a good thing to go out there. <laughs> no. So I say Niagara Falls. Slowly I turn step we by step. There, yeah, we need to get up there. Yeah, Luna, you can Luna, find Luna, some. Luna's behind you, so you ain't going anywhere. Yeah. Pick your butt if you don't keep moving. Fifteen, <laughs> Luna. You see Torben turn around and try and move away. What do you want to do? You will not be in a position to hear the rattles. I'm like, we got to get up there. She was definitely on the second floor. Yeah, she was throwing rocks at Maggie. Exactly. Yeah, unless you got a way to clear snakes, or you're like St. Patrick or something. <laughs> you take your axe and start whacking their heads off. That works pretty well. I'll burn them. Whack them off. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see them, right? Correct. Maggie, uh, you hear Torvig and... What? Your third bag. You got Thunder Wave or something? <laughs> yeah, go, go get the Torto. Maybe you can Thunder Wave that shit off for you. Oh my yeah. God. A friggin', uh... Tippy Turtle. <laughs> yeah, Luna being short and third in line. What's going on? What's going on? And uh, that's why I'm like, get move it. I mean, they. I assume they're talking about it, so. No, uh, Torvig's looking at you. Maggie, you're up. What do you want to yeah. do? Get up there. Uh, Kara, call off your snakes. Damn it, we want to talk to you. We don't think you killed that guy. Perception check. Hmm. Or persuasion, rather. Oh, persuasion? Mm -hmm. Okay, not bad. Uh, okay. Persuasion is nine. 21. What is this here? Oh, 20. Uh, you hear nothing but rattle, rattle, rattle. Yeah. Right. I'm I'm just like, there are snakes up there, lass. If you want to handle them, then I'll squeeze and you can wager your, your way right up there. I will leave it up to all three of you as the snakes are not pursuing down the stairs. They're in a holding pattern. <laughs> mm. If you got one of your flamey things, maybe. That's going to take probably more than one. But I can stand down here and just keep hitting them. It's a cantrip. 
Hey, no, so, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> hey, I'm like there. this. I mean, fine, stick me in front of if we can try to squeeze and switch positions. You can back down. You gotta step in there, mind that 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 I step. step. Damn right? it. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I crawl on top of you. I mean, I can oh, lift you. Yeah. I, I can gnome toss you. <laughs> right into the swarm. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Um, all right. So, I need to get by you. If you're not going to do this yourself, then I need to get by you. <sighs> okay. It, you could go chop their heads off, but... <sighs> As you guys squeeze chest to chest, Straight up D20, make sure it's not but a one. It, it snakes. Don't, I'm like, don't make this weird. <laughs> Why am I going weird? What am I? Just straight no. up D20. Straight up D20. Okay, 15. Luna? Seven. It ain't easy, but she manages to squeeze past Torvig. Now all I got to do is get past Maggie, who's holding them at bay with her powerful presence. I can't <laughs> see them from here. Yeah, you can see I'll, them now. Like that. Oh man, I need to see them. So, and I only need to be. Well, you're, you're you're wee enough. Just kind of. Or yeah, six. I'll feet kind feet. of move against the wall. So. Like, just go between them. the legs, last. Just. <laughs> I'm gonna do something first. I'm gonna call out. Hey, wait. What's what, what's her what's her Corey's name again? We already saw that. Uh, Carol. 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 Dunaway. If you want your fr pet snakeies alive. Come and get them right now, otherwise I'm gonna I'm gonna fry them. I don't think they're they're pets. <laughs> sure, go ahead and roll uh, persuasion. Oh, that's a nat twenty. And the uh, persuasion, that's that's one of my trained skills. That's twenty-four. Sure. I will I'll hold action because they're yeah. not coming down. Sure, no problem. I'll light a freaking sacred flame in my hand and hold it. Great, toss it. Maggie, D12 against me. Five. Two. Oh, <laughs> snakes are coming down now. What? Oh, no. Even with that persuasion check? She can't hear it. you. If, if she can't hear you, she can't be persuaded. Uh, who's got the 22? Torvig. Oh, yeah, that, that was for something else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, okay. Uh, seven. seven. 17. Oh, okay. I was about to say, what? We tied again? Maggie, what was yours? 18. Maggie's up first. Uh, Maggie, the snakes are coming. You're going to try and stab at them. Sure. They are coming. Uh, AC 14 to hit the swarm. Uh, 17. Hit. And since Luna's right there, would I get sneak attack? I'm not uh, maybe. Not engaged yet. Okay. Also not melee hitting them. Yeah. That's uh, six points. That's not bad. Uh, next up, Luna. Okay, so make a... Um... Wait, oh, somebody got hit. Uh, make a wisdom save. I'll do that with uh, the flame. Uh, I know I'm not making that one. Okay, it's 13, so. Yeah, eight. Eight is what I need. All right, eight so is I, what I got. I believe I roll a d12 for damage. As I cast Toll the Dead, bong, over whichever one she injured. It's oh, a swarm, so. Yeah, 10 points of damage. Very nice. Uh, Nec necrotic. Yep. Uh, they aren't going to heal themselves. The snakes will lash out at Maggie. Of course. Well, I'm behind her, so. That one. Uh, hey. Torvig, there's not much you can do. You're third in line here. Yeah, if any of them come through, I make a spike attack. <laughs> oh. uh, back to the top of the order, 18, Maggie. OK, going to try and stab him again. 618. Yep. And 10 damage. 
Nicely done. Luna, back to you. All right, make the save again. Uh, that one is angled. Uh, that one's an 18 now. So I assume yeah. that's all or nothing. So I believe so. Yep. Uh, snakes are going to go after Maggie. Seven plus six, 13. I'm nope. thinking no. 16. Torvig. <laughs> Back to the top of the order, Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> God, someone fucking hit. You got this. I'll just wait right here. He's kind of leaning up against the alcove. Not this time. That's a nine. Luna. All right, make another shame. It's a cantrip. So I keep doing this all hey, day. There, there's no shame in that. Hey. I'd rather so, save the spells for when I need it. Exactly. <laughs> What'd you roll? Six. Six. Oh, yeah, okay. You definitely don't make it. Oh, that was a friggin' one. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Wait, it's it's instead of a big door uh, bong, it's like ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Maybe. Eighteen plus six is twenty-four. Ah, finally! <laughs> Ouch! Give me a Constitution save. Oh no! No murder hobos that time. Let's see. Thank God for that. 13. Passes the poison test, but you still take six damage from the bites. Oh. Torvig! Give me a perception check, Torvig. Yeah, let's see if any of those little fuckers come through. <coughs> uh, <laughs> not with that roll. Three. You don't hear shit around the corner. Back to the top of the order, Maggie. Uh, you got a little bit of snake bite there. Hey, I don't think I actually went. You know, the guy that is oh, resistant you? to poison. Yeah, you go second. Oh, no, you're right. You did right. one hit point of damage. <laughs> Sorry, I get confused. Maggie, you're up. Um, yeah, that's 11. Uh, that is not going to hit him. Fucking out. Luna. <laughs> For another save. Three. Nope. Come on, more than friggin' one. And I'm like, that's more than one. It's like, it's five, which is definitely more than one. Yep. But Dust is starting to fall from the ceiling, and the falling. vipers are going to go after Maggie again. Nope. Torvin, give me another perception check. Okay, 18. There's something going on. Like behind? Out, like in the kitchen area. Oh. Okay. Tippy Turtle must have got up. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm at the back of the stairs, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um hate to split the party. <laughs> Uh, I am gonna step over that step and no, oh, no, you're not gonna do this. You're try not to head over to the to the. It's either that or it's gonna come up and bite us in the ass. So literally, sure, but go for it. Uh, Torvig, you round the you step over correctly. You round the corner. You look <laughs> around, and uh, the turtle the turtle is flipping over the heavy table, and it looks like he's gonna make a bridge. Uh, <laughs> Back to the top of the order, Maggie. I am going to try and maybe move Luna so she's in front of me. No. <laughs> Back off a little bit. Human it's... shield, nice. Oh my god, no. I'm <laughs> down to seven hit points, so you I'm take... like don't, don't me. All right. be a little bit careful. Uh, you know what? Before we go any further, everybody roll a d12. Oh god, you need to do this. A 12. Four. 11. Uh, Maggie, you were the only one that had a potion of healing, by the way, since you're first. Oh, okay. Uh, so you, you have a potion of healing if you need it. Uh, Luna, yeah. Maggie pushes her way past you, bleeding profusely. You're up. 
Ah. Oh, I would have. Are you like fresh meat? Uh, I would have healed you, but that's not happening now. Um. Yeah, and you know what I've got? I've got twelve hit points. So. <laughs> not only that, now you can't. Okay. <laughs> You're up, right. Luna. What do you want to do? I'll do it again. This is nothing I can do, really. I got to take him out now. Oh, thank God. I wish I wish it was a critical fumble and I could double this. That one. I wish I. Yeah, I can't double the damage because that would have been sweet. That's eleven points. That's nice. Uh, and that is Maybe enough to scatter him. Yeah, that is enough to scatter him by one point. Yay! Points. Uh, mm. Dust glides down. Uh, Maggie, as you push your way past Luna, uh, where the fuck did the dwarf go? <laughs> Harving, where are you? I'm I'm like in a low audible audible <laughs> tone here. <laughs> he is just outside the alcove that you walked into. Yeah. Okay. Hail yourself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take that potion. One D eight plus two, no ones. Nice. So you guys are huddled in the stairwell. Uh, Torvig, you are just outside the stairwell, right. watching the turtle. The table's really freaking heavy, so he's he's having kind of a difficult time. Okay. Hey. He hasn't gotten it over the cas uh, the the crevasse. <laughs> he, he is just now getting it tipped over to its side. Oh, okay. I, I don't suppose he's too large for this stairway, is he? Because you said it's a really tight stairway. He's got a big shell on him. Give me a perception check. Oh, that, no, that's terrible. That's only an eight. You, oh, would, me that you, you wouldn't be able to have a guess either way. So Torvig, uh, do, do you, you, think, do you want to stay and watch the turtle or do you want to rejoin your associates? Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to watch the turtle. Okay. Maggie okay. and Luna, uh, you know your associate is just out of eyesight. He's apparently keeping an eye on your previous adversary. What would you two like to do? I'm going to try and look up again over the over the like threshold of the stairs. So you rest your head on Luna's head. OK. <laughs> uh, and you see the overturned box and dead snake parts. You also see light coming in, presumably from the window where she was heaving the stones off at you. Okay, so I don't see her. You do not see her. You do not know which way the landing goes. Uh, folks at home, when you have to defend a castle, oil and snakes. Snakes. <laughs> snakes. <laughs> so, Maggie, uh, you're going to have to push Luna out of the way. Uh, in order to get up to the landing and look around. Um, okay, well, I'll look at her and say, well, shall we try to find her? I don't know. We're off to see the wizard. The the way. I, I look at you, said, I look at you kind of disgustingly white, so you can throw me in front of her and, and run away. Oh, yes, enough, we're that time. Enough, Karen. <laughs> I was about to say. No, I all of a sudden, no, somebody else just popped into my brain. Another murder hobo popped in my brain. I could, I could hear, hear complaining about this sort of thing. Maggie, uh, what do you want to do? Luna, what do you want to do? I don't, you just love us to split the party, don't you? In this case, it was built for this. <laughs> it's what he does. <laughs> It keeps me at bay, and it keeps you at bay. Against my better judgment, I'm going to go forward. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go up, too. Uh, Maggie and Luna, you reach the landing, and you notice that there is a solid wall to your left, the window, uh, with several more stones right near the window. You look out. Sure enough, that is where you came in. 
Yeah. Uh, it, it button hooks around to another room. Torvig, D12 against me. Seven. The total spots you, and he's he's kind of <coughs> sweating, and he looks over, and he goes, you want to help me push this over? You push it over, push it right over on him. <laughs> I tell him, uh, you're going to behave? I'm going to kill you is what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, then let me fucking help you. <laughs> Maggie and Luna, upstairs, uh, the button hook around leads into a larger room. Oh, Try to jump that right. crevice with your stubby legs. <laughs> <laughs> What's in this room? Uh, a lot of old furniture, a lot of broken furniture, and the northwest corner <coughs> has been blown out. Uh, footprints on the ground? Uh, yes. A lot of them. Uh, I will friend? take insight checks for both of you two. Insight, not investigation? Nope. Mm -hmm. Six. There's, there's a reason. Oh, I, I'm sure there is actually. Uh, nope. That's a nope. That's a two on the die. So that's... So you do not understand what the foot Seven. Uh, Torvig, uh, the turtle is obviously getting tired and he's taking a breather and he's like, so, been adventure along? <laughs> for a for a bit. What about yourself? Yeah, about a year. Ah, oh. what you cooking? Cooking some stew. Ooh. So it's a nice seaweed stew. Oh. Would you Would you like some? <laughs> you gonna behave? I'll throw it to you. <laughs> I'm not falling for that one. <laughs> hey, he goes over. Hey, he puts a ladle out. And he pours it into like a, a drinking pitcher. But he, he only poured one ladle in there. Oh, he goes, I could toss it to you. Oh, God. <laughs> and it's just like, uh, no, no, don't, don't toss it to me. And it's just like, you hold on to that. <laughs> and you see it just dribble down his chin. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> I need something. And he goes over to the kitchen and just totally blows you off. He he's tends to his stew. <laughs> uh, Maggie and Luna, you're in a room with a lot of footprints, a big opening looking over a beautiful vista, and there is a doorway slash hallway just inside to your right. Um, going to try and very Quietly go over to the doorway and listen, see if I can hear anyone in there. It's an open doorway. I'm sorry. Okay, is there... Like, it leads to a hallway. Okay, well, can I see down there? Is there... It goes about 30 feet and it jogs to the right. There are murals on either side. And the murals are... Uh, noise of furtive movement can be heard through the narrow hallway ahead of you. Uh, water damaged murals are present on both sides of the wall and show the guard tower in its glory days of defending the countryside. Huzzah! <laughs> uh, creep over to the stairs and yell down, Torvig! Come on up here now! <laughs> <laughs> and don't know if you'll hear me, but I don't want to yell. Corbin, be 20. Uh, tw straight up D20 or yep. perception? D20. Uh, uh, 12. Well, that beats me. Uh, after you watch the Toro go back to making sure his stew doesn't burn, uh, you hear <laughs> coming from the stairwell. Okay. <laughs> Even though I don't understand it, I know that it, it could be a summons. And uh, before I go up, I'm like, hey, Mr. Turtleman. <laughs> yes. And it's just like, are you usually here by yourself? Go away. You did not want to try my cooking. Hmm. Yeah, save me some stew. <laughs> uh, I will try. <laughs> so I turned around and uh, I, I head back, minding that step. <laughs> ah! Ah! 
You go to and see Maggie at the top of the stairs. You step over <laughs> the, the Travis bad. I want to like purposely trigger just to see what it does. Oh, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it now. <laughs> Now. Sure, what could possibly go wrong like in the center wrong. of a dilapidated tower? Mm. <laughs> I've seen Indiana oh, Jones. <laughs> uh, you, you step up, you are now on the second story landing uh, mm. where the rock thrower was. Uh, Maggie, what did you want to tell him? What do you want um, to tell me? Hey, dude's got there's... stew. <laughs> yeah. The other guy's got stew, hey. <laughs> yeah. Well, Around here is a hallway, and we hear someone in the other room. And oh, you know this is maybe you wanted well to fight us. someone. <sighs> and again, it's narrow hallway. Oh. <laughs> I'm letting him go and so fight. so so it's another stairway. No, it's a short hallway. Short. So hallway. it's a big room. There's a doorway with no door, but and there's a hallway that goes down and to the right. Okay, so girls it's on either side. Okay. So, so I'm taking it. You want me to take the lead, eh? This time, yeah. Oh, all right. So, I shave, uh, I, I shave, uh, I holster my uh, grave axe, pull out my battle axe and shield. I was just like, fine. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is your dark vision perceives nothing ahead of you other than a stone cold wall leading to the right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, shield up, axe. Very good. Start moving forward. You move down the hallway. You look over. Hmm, battle scene. Hmm. Nice. Battle scene. Water nice. damage. Uh, hang on just a second. <laughs> <laughs> what? Mind the trap. <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> give me a wisdom check. Ugh. Uh, wisdom, straight up wisdom is uh, 16. 16 is good enough. Uh, you look and you look and you look and you're like, why is there water damage here? And it seems to be right, right where right I have here, to go. <laughs> right here. Yeah. Uh, uh, Do you have any idea what could cause that? As in a leaky roof? Leaky roof. A leaky roof is right. Mm. So. Dragon pee, probably. <laughs> so, uh, your wisdom says, mm, I don't know about this. Yeah, it's all going to cave in. I, I, t I mean, I, I can have detect magic if you want me to scan the area. Hey, you want to wiggle your fingers and, and see if you can see something? Let me know. <laughs> All right. I'm can she do it. that, like, around yeah. me? She sure. can lean in and do that. Okay. All right, sparkly fingers, go. <laughs> right, run out of spells here. All right, so I do that. Do I pick up anything? A that anything glowing. Like the walls. Okay. Maggie, perception check. <clears throat> I assume no then i didn't correct no okay how how big is uh, that that long is that that wet spot oh about five feet um that's so, a 20. uh maggie you're picking up out of the broken wall uh a sailor dirge uh of obscene quality <laughs> in the turtle voice he seems to be singing something about a man from nantucket <laughs> Luna, uh, your dispel magic has discovered nothing. Torvig, your investigation of the uh, structural integrity of the building indicates that there is water damage in a U, maybe a foot, foot and a half wide, like a stirrup. Right. Well, I mean, the only way is through. <laughs> so hmm. just mind your step. So I'm gonna try to do my best with a with a little bit of a start to jump that wet spot. D12 against me. Okay. At least I know it's not magical, but probably something else. 
Uh, <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> you give a leap, but you've forgotten to take into account your armor. You hit just the edge of the wet spot, and kaboom! You go right through. How far? Uh, straight down to the next level. Uh, you were prepared, so you're only going to take half. You're still going to take two hit points of damage. You're okay. just outside the kitchen, and the turtle looks He's around. Goes, laughing his ass off. Are you ready <laughs> for the soup? Well, now he's stuck on the other side. <sighs> God damn it. Well, at least you can see that there is something there to mind. <laughs> yeah. We have our rope. I assume we took our rope. Could we just have, hang <sighs> the rope to him, have him climb up? That, or he can climb up the stairs. Yeah, he's just outside the stairs. The stairs. Yeah, yeah, he is not with the turtle. Oh, well, he's oh. on the he's on the wrong side of the turtle. Oh, yeah. okay. Or he's on the correct side, oh, not with the turtle. Yeah, okay. he has essentially landed right where he was a few minutes ago. Oh, okay, then I look look down. All right. And on, you interrupt the dirge right at what you perceive to be a horribly obscene point. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's too bad. I wanted to hear that. Well, what uh, else? Maggie, you don't know what happened. You just heard a loud crash. Luna, you see him do a really shitty leap and go straight down. There's now a gap in the hallway. But mm. a running start would help you. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, D20. On those gnomish legs. D20. Uh, Eleven. You're over on the other side. The wind by your wings. Torvig, you're downstairs. Yeah. Do you want? Do you want the soup or no? <coughs> <coughs> I'm sitting here. Uh, Probably poison. <laughs> Just kidding. I saw him drink it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Maybe it's iocane poison. It's only it's only poison. It's inconceivable, you know, that he could have that he could have poisoned it. It's only poisonous to dwarves. No, it's not going to poison me. So. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> so has has Turtle Man got that got that uh, table across or anything like that? It, it's no longer upright. It's over on its side. It's over on its side. But he's he's back to tending the soup because he doesn't want to scorch it. Uh, yeah. It's just like I, I'm getting tired of chasing this asshole upstairs. So, um, <laughs> uh, and stew smells good. Oh come on, we're waiting for you. you I'm waiting the- for him. You already <laughs> leaped. You already leaped. You, you didn't wait for me. As Torvik oh, ponders it. his options, Maggie, you heard a loud crash in the hallway, and then you saw Luna back up and run. Okay, I'm gonna go into the hallway and look and you see a gaping hole in the floor, uh water stained murals and Luna at the far end of the hallway. Yeah, well I'm like bent over poking my head down through it, going, Come on, no, Take I'm gonna jump and knock her through. <laughs> <laughs> Other side. If I look down in the hole, can I see Torvig? Mm-hmm. He's doing this. <laughs> Are you coming? And I'm gonna now we're both say, at. Luna, can you back up so I can get across this whole place? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I go up to the end of the. I go. I back up uh, to give her some room to land. Go ahead, Maggie. D twenty. <laughs> Five. Oh no! <laughs> she makes it just barely. Ah, uh, Torvik, as you look up. You see Maggie has landed on her knees and her feet are dangling through the hole. Yeah, scoot then, yourself up there. <laughs> the disappear and she climbs over the other side. Uh, uh, Maddie, Maddie, I don't have all day. Do you want the soup or not? Uh, uh, hold, hold, hold a cup for me, turtle man. So, and I got to go help is them. Benjamin. Uh, Benjamin? Yes. Yeah, Good call to meet me Benji. you. Benji Torvik. Torvik I'll be back. Benji. Okay. You'll be back. You remind me of a guy who was a governor. 
<laughs> so do you go back up the stairs? Yeah, mind that step again. <laughs> you correctly mind the step. You go up past the splattered snakes. You go in and I room. make sure that there's enough room before that gap. And I would <laughs> like to rage because I hate this fucking place. Uh, Maggie, he looks like he's going to get a full head of steam. Are you going to get the hell out of the way? Yes, I am definitely moving. Fair Me enough. too. Go ahead, Torvig. Throw that D20. <laughs> throw the math rock. All right. Uh, the math rock. So uh, so I get advantage. Or, or How does the rage work on strength? Are we going strength or acrobatics? We'll go strength. Okay. All right. So with strength and my roll, shitty roll... <laughs> uh let's see okay so that that's a plus two to it so uh 16 oh yeah easily <laughs> oh, the fucking five. <laughs> <laughs> like all, all three of you are Dick on the it. far side uh it goes to the right and there's a doorway I, i'm pissed at this point <laughs> you're third in line so you can be pissed third in line can we like change order because we really want him to go first? Like I'll duck down yeah, and he can. Can we like scooch face. against the wall? You may yeah. scooch against the wall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so shield yeah. and battle axe. <laughs> okay. You're now up there. Mm. You're like R.I.P.D. Okay, oh, the oh door. shit. Uh, mine the spikes. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> the, the door is right oh, there in front of you. Oh, you my face. Jeez. Oh. Uh, so, so the door is right there? Is it, It's closed or? <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Well, you're raging. Pound through it. Yeah. I'm battle axe that damn thing. Uh, uh, at, at least around the, the handle yeah. locking me mechanisms sure. and all that. Sure, it was unlocked, but okay. Uh, oh, never mind. Damn it. <laughs> uh, you shatter the door using your great dwarven strength, and you notice that a large hole in the corner of the room uh, allows gusts of wind from the sea to enter, and it's spreading loose parchment all over the fucking room. Uh, there are several stained glass windows still intact around the circumference of the room. Okay. Uh, a broken globe and a pair of statues that are reminiscent of warriors are present in the room, along with a large table that has the entire region carved in, so it's like a bas relief of the countryside area. Uh, hmm. A door is shut inside in this room. Um, Torvig, being a warrior, would realize that this room is a strategic point because the table is carved uh, in yeah, the countryside. Yeah. The parchment splitter around and the stony warriors just stand there. Okay. Uh, um, and there's a door. Mm, okay. Uh, is one of the warriors in my path if I stay close to the wall and make my way towards the door? No, the door, the door is right to your right. Uh, oh. The stone okay. warriors are in the far corner and the close corner. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try the door. <laughs> sure, it's locked. No, uh, of course this one's locked. <laughs> Maggie and Luna, uh, what do you want to do? Uh, wait until somebody unlocks the door. Yeah, hey, if I see that it's locked, I'll go. I'm gonna look for traps and then I'll try to unlock it. Hey, sneaky bullets, get over here! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna enter the room now. Okay. Uh... Maggie, you check the door. Uh, give me an investigation check. Investigation is 19. Yeah, uh, you, you're pretty sure there's no traps here. Okay, okay I'm going to try to <laughs> unlock it. Give me a performance check. I hate rooms with, with, uh, with statues. <laughs> this has got a pathological fear of statues. <laughs> <laughs> See how many times have been in rooms with statues and they come alive? Oh, I know. I, I'm well aware. <laughs> Maggie? That's a six. Uh, you aren't having much luck with it. And as Luna has successfully pointed out, there's never any fucking empty statues in a place. Never! They all These are called stone-cursed, and they have what is called cunning opportunist 
and get initial advantage on every attack roll. Maggie, there is one at you. Luna, there is one. Of course there is one. I'm going to die. Maggie, <laughs> Luna. Two and a six. Uh, you hear oh, the what? move, uh, and you see these statues animate. Uh, let's all do initiative. Oh, God. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not great. Seven. Sixteen. Twelve. Sixteen. Torvig, uh, as Maggie's leaning over you trying to unlock, you hear, what are they doing? Uh, claws. Uh, you hear a, sla a slashing claw, miss her, scraping off her armor, uh, turn around to see, holy shit, one of these fucking statues is alive. And then you look down the other side. Holy shit, both these statues are alive. Ah. Uh, the one closest to you is Maggie. Okay. I'm still raging, right? At this point. It's a minute, right? No? A, or... a full minute? Yeah. Ah, D12 again. <coughs> Seven. Uh nine. Yeah, you're still raging. Okay. All right. Uh I'm gonna uh swing for the stands on the first one. Battle axe in here. AC 17 to crush these fuckers. Oh, God. Uh, damn it. 18. No, not 18. 16. 16. Damn it. 8 and 8. Uh, chings off the stonework. Uh, you had the 16. I had the 13. Maggie and Luna. Six and a 10 plus five. Does a 15 hit you, Maggie? Nope. Uh, next up is the 13, or no, I'm the 13, dumbass. Luna, <laughs> 12, you're up. God, I don't know what to do because I'm running out of spells. You should um, just give up and let them beat you to death. No. You have a mace or something? I do have a mace, but my to hit, roll, to hit is really freaking bad. I wish I had like... um. We should have magic weapon. Um, I can still try toll that dead because you know that will still. It's like sonic damage. Thirteen wisdom. Does that mean you did not make it? Uh, I rolled an eight, and that's a seven. Nothing else took uh, damage, right? Nothing's taken damage so far, right? No, I, I missed. Oh yeah, that's it. All right, so it's only he's going after Maggie's. All right, so that would be three points of damage. Better than Bonk. nothing. Maggie, you're up. It's, it's fine. I'm going to try and pick the lock again. Okay. Keep going, sneaky boots. <laughs> get, her, get us through there. That time it's 16. Ah, uh, yes, you hear the click and uh, it does unlock. Okay. Um, open and. <laughs> She's going to go in and leave us to this shit. <laughs> I'm well. The I'm door, gonna. The door open opens in. Does it deactivate the statues? <laughs> Any chance? No. Uh, she pushes the door in. Oh, it doesn't move. How far does it move in? Oh no! It's um, locked on the other side. Oh. Oh, and that that brings me to me. Oh no! That brings me to Torvig. Okay. Can't something. <laughs> hey, all right. Give me a second. <laughs> and damn it, Torvik hit something. Okay. Uh, seventeen. That hits. Okay. All right. Uh, Which one are you? Uh, He's at Maggie's. Eleven plus two. Thirteen points of damage. Ooh, you knocked the shit out of it. Uh, my turn. Uh. Odd Maggie, even Torvig. Uh, 14, so I'm going after Torvig and Luna. Torvig, you're the copper. Okay. Ooh, uh, natural one again for Luna and oh, thank God for that. to get Torvig. So these things suck ass. <laughs> you die suck ass too, I think. You know, if I hit you, you have the chance to turn. Don't the don't get cocky, kid. <laughs> uh, next up is the twelve Luna. 
All right. Um, the one that just got damaged, go to make a wisdom saving throw at 13. Please don't make it. Yeah. Uh, that's a 13 on the die, minus one. It's 12. That does not make it. <laughs> that's a, that is about freaking time that started going my favor. Nine points of damage. Total of 12 down. Maggie, uh, <laughs> something's locking the door. I'm going to try and push it open. Sure. Give me a strength check. Yeah, that's going to end really well. Yeah, no, three. <laughs> ah, oh. it, it, it was that far open. Now it's this <laughs> far open. <laughs> mm, yeah. Top of the order. That, that tracks. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're gonna, gonna, gonna swing again. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. Uh, 19 plus. Uh, yeah. 27. <laughs> that hits. All right. Ooh. Okay. Uh, six plus plus seven. Nine. Nine points of damage. Dead. Uh, yeah. Stone creature falls to the ground. Uh, nice. That leaves only the one on Luna. God, it wasn't. Uh, 12 plus 5 is 17. That is my AC. Uh, you're going to get hurt, and you need a DC 12 versus Constitution. Ooh. It's going to be bad. Yeah, pretty much. 7 damage. I'm not down. Uh, Constitution. I do make the DC 12, though. That's a DC 14. You feel something course through your veins, but you're able to fight it is off. Uh, right. And that makes it your turn. Oh, fuck. Well, this is all sorts of friggin' bad. Um, it's about to get worse. Yeah. Uh, you haven't even come up against the deadly encounter yet. I know, <laughs> and I only have, like, two more fucking spell slots. Uh... I'm gonna do cast. I get cast cure wound. Can level on myself. Because I'm gonna die if I don't. Okay, muscles, you're up. Nine plus. Okay, Maggie, you're up. <laughs> At first, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> yeah, me nope. too. Okay, so I'm gonna try and go over to. Um. Luna's statue and it's stone, so it probably won't work, but I'm gonna try and stab it with my rapier. Sure. <laughs> Look a little better. Uh 15. Not good enough to hit. Yeah. Uh, uh top of the order. Torvig. Okay. Um 18. That hits. Okay. <laughs> uh, don't freaking do that don't 16 points of damage Mr. TPK man <laughs> shatters him down nice. and I will take uh, investigation checks by all three of you since you were all there oh my god uh, that was not the deadly 17 17 12 and 16 uh, Torvig, you notice that you shatter the outer shell of this stone creature and reveal uh, human remains. Oh. It also has a ring on its finger. Okay, R remains, is it like still living or is it? It's dead. It's dead. Okay. It, it just had a stone covering, almost like bark. Okay, skin. I didn't know if it was like some kind of like Gorgon spell or some shit like hey, that. Hey, have, or do they both have remains in them? Yes, but only one has a ring. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I, yeah, I hate this, but yeah, I I pulled the ring off. Just take a look. Uh, it is silver and it has a cloud etched into it. A cloud. Okay. Uh, is is her uh, detect magic peeper still up? How long does it last, Luna? Ten oh. minutes usually. Oh, uh, probably. Hasn't been that long. The ring's blown. Okay. And, and I have, like, actually 
cast another concentration spell. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I hold on to it. I'm not going to be greedy, but yeah, what is, hold on what? to it. Perception check, everybody. How do you identify magic items in this? Uh, use identify spell. Oh, that's yeah. it. Yeah, that takes a little while unless you Ten use minutes. a spell slot. Yeah. No. Oh no. Oh no, what you can perception. Perception. To that's how you can actually get it. Perception. Yeah, uh, the cat left the door open. I was freezing. Didn't figure out why. Ten for Torvig for oh, perception. So I'm not trying to hide it. Uh, I'm just I'm waving to them, holding on to this. That's fair. Uh, perception ten. What did everybody else get? Eleven. Maggie. Uh, it was like a seven. Okay. Oh, nobody, notice, nobody notices anything. Uh, the papers skitter about because the wind's still blowing. In. Uh, Maggie, you have unlocked the door. Okay. Uh, Torvig, can you push the door open? It yeah. Do like we? Locking it. Do we have to We're roll an assist? <clears throat> Can all three of us try to push into it? Uh, no, only one of you can, but if one of them wants to help you and give you the huzzah, I'll let you roll with advantage. All right. Somebody give me a huzzah. <laughs> you, you can do it. You're strong. Um, uh, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. I have minus yeah. two points because Luna's annoying. Oh, <laughs> uh, 16. 16 is enough to... And you hear scraping and... Torvig, you feel the door jiggle. Okay. And, and as it opens, you see a large, like, wardrobe has been pushed over in front of the door. And you manage to push it in <laughs> wide enough uh, so that you can squeeze through if you want. Okay. All right. And it's just like, I got it open, but something's wedging the way. So, yeah. Uh, shield up. Going to try to squeeze my, you know, do the oh, <laughs> through. Sure. As you do, your strength score is enough to push it open a little bit more, and you pop out like a fart in, <laughs> into this other room. Uh, Maggie and Luna, what are you doing? Same thing. I'm going to try yeah. to... Uh, all three of you enter this room, and it is a long room. It is 40 feet long by 20 feet wide. However, on the left wall, uh, there's some structural damage and probably from that fucking thunder wave, and it's wide open. Uh, however, uh, everybody give me a straight up perception check here. Oh, that's okay. Uh, perception, uh, nine, 19. Uh, 25 with a nat 20. Holy oh. crap. <laughs> 90 Maggie. years. Uh, shoot, that was 16. All three of you recognize that this is a bedroom at one point in time, probably lavishly furnished. The bed was immense. It's a huge canopy bed made of a dark wood. It suffered some damage from the elements because of the open hole in the wall, but you- I'm glad you said damage from the elements because I was about to go boom, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> uh, as, you, as you look around, you notice that the bed sheets, or I'm sorry, not bed sheets, there's a rope tied to the knob of the bed and it hangs outside. Fucking uh, hell. All right. So so I go over and I look <laughs> and uh, holding on to the. Maggie to the and Luna, do you do the same thing? Yeah. You look down. And the rope extends all the way down to a narrow ledge that goes around towards the front. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Uh, I'm like, can you I, go I, down? It's up to you, lassies. <laughs> you can go, go down, down or you can do the long trek through the tower. Your choice. Nah, uh, I, I, I will say that the ledge is very narrow and the drop is very oh, <laughs> oh okay uh thinking about that uh i take the ring and i put it on yeah uh anything mm. no 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 effect takes no. like an effort to investigate it not that you know 
Yeah. I mean, it, it could be fire resistance for all you know. Yeah. Not mm. a cloud on it. I mean, I yeah, don't... exactly. So, mm. so, um, stay flying. See if you could fly in this Probably room. 10 minutes, uh, <laughs> I do a quick jump up. <laughs> Anything? No, no, just dwarf jumping. Okay. It could be a lightning bolt. It could be. Lord knows. Okay. Vampire oh. resistance could be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. Mm -hmm. uh, let's um, loud though. Let's go after this asshole. So, so uh, try to hold on to to this, and I'll climb on down. You so. want to climb down? You don't want to go around. Well, this is the shortest way. <laughs> it's also the shortest way down too. <laughs> Uh, uh, looking over the ledge, you know that you will not survive a fall. Fall, fuck that. All right. I guess we'll go around, but I pull that shit back up. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, fine. Fair enough. Uh, you run back through the broken globe room into the hallway. See the hole in the floor. Mind the gap. Everybody <laughs> Running <make> start. <laughs> everybody make your jump. Hey, jump. How, how many feet is it down from one floor to the other? Oh, okay. well, net 20, so. You leap over easily. Okay, so it, what is that? Acrobatics or dex or? Not a one. Oh, it's a 13. <laughs> uh, Maggie jumps over. Luna? Not a one, so that's an Luna, eight. Luna, everybody jumps uh, over. You go into the big room. There's the ocean breeze <laughs> again. You go around the, the where the dead snakes are. There's the window out front. <laughs> give me give me perception yeah. check. Uh 17. Maggie, uh, 13. Eight. What was it again, Maggie? Eight. And 13 from Luna. Uh yeah. Torvig, as you reach the landing, something catches your eye outside. Okay. Uh, try to do a perception check to see what it is. You look out and out on two cows are two individuals. One is holding a pitcher underneath his Fuck arm. Me. <laughs> and the other one is a female. And as they ride off into the sunset, you see the male turtle. <laughs> <laughs> My stew! <laughs> Tipping you off. We will go ahead and call it a game right Fuck there. Me. <laughs> They ride Damn it, I knew I should have had cows. I, I knew I should have stayed and had stew. Should have had stew? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you can always check. It was a big cauldron. And yeah, all he's came to the he might have been, uh, yeah, he only had, so he might have been nice and left the cauldron. If you want to go look, you will find that the table has been overturned, formed a bridge, of and you course. can get the cauldron. So if yeah. nothing else, you get a hot meal out of it. Yeah, I do. And I taste it for, for them. And how does it uh, taste? Constitution checks everybody who tastes it to see how they like it, not poison. Uh, 19. Know, it's okay. delicious for you. Uh, 10? Uh, that's a 13. Oh, constitution, uh, 13. Uh, Pep Megan, Megan it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Pep Tor Torvig's just shoveling it in. Paprika, paprika. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not a big paprika. <clears throat> so you didn't catch them, but yeah, you know, you had a good time. I hope. Yeah. Uh, let's do uh, final thoughts here as we wrap up. Uh, we'll we ended with uh, her. We'll start with Carol. Uh, I wish I had got a chance to catch them, but if what's you guys dawdled too much and uh, Maggie's not strong enough. <laughs> Dilly dallied. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. But did no. you like? Did you like it? I did. I did. I would have said a, a little more time would have been nice to, to try to catch them. Yeah. Uh, the, the stone people are very interesting. Uh, the yeah. statues are interesting. I knew every freaking room I ever go in with a statue. So and they always animate. It's like. You know, I'm going to have Luna identify that shit. So you might as well tell us what the ring is. Ring of Featherfall. One of you could have made it down onto the ledge just fine. I'm surprised. It was, well, usually, I think it's always described it has a feather engraved on it. Well, a, I, I knew that if I said feather, 
We yeah, don't I know. know what it was. It was. Yeah. Yeah. I almost put three X. It was definitely. Uh, <laughs> like so can Torvig hold on to that if he becomes a recurring character? As long as he's third level or higher. If he's yes. first or second level, he doesn't have it yet. Oh, so. he's a three. So. Uh, David, what'd you think? I, I enjoyed it. I mean, enough for the pitfalls, but it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. So this is a good one, Frank. I liked it. I like the traps. I liked all the traps. I liked it was a balanced dungeon. You, you I had- hate the f- I hate the fucking snakes. <laughs> I hate I like, snakes I like in real the- life. See, the, the snakes are what tied you guys up. Yeah, what, exactly. Yeah. What yeah. was the trap? What was the trap in the stairs? Uh, fall through. Fall through, obviously, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Heidi, what'd you think? Yeah, and, and I, like- I already know way better than Kyle, so you don't have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> he was watching too at one point. Yeah, <laughs> he's addicted. Uh, I'm waiting for the chat bubble to come up. Fuck you, Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Haley. Haley, right, yeah, Haley. it's Haley now. Oh, poor yeah, Haley. No, the- he was on- fuck that bitch. <laughs> oh, oh! I guess somebody's not getting uh, an invite. All terrible no. and dragonborn. Yeah, no. Talking about Haley, she's a bitch. Again, we did have a lot of fun. Named Haley. Haley. Oh, you oh, do? Oh, to say, it, was that's actually, why. it was actually Hallie, but. Uh, oh, yeah, but that's where Kyle got confused. So, sorry, knows, Hallie. She knows, she knows you're talking about her. Uh, so what you, We're what not you talking think? about her. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot of fun. Fuck the snakes. That was hard. And I almost died. Uh, <laughs> oh, please. You were what, 12 hit points? I no, was this seven. Close I was one well, hit away. And you were seven. All right. It's, that's the thing is, if you actually had a move, I would, and you were down that far and you went to heal her, I would have healed you. Yeah, but- I was this close to playing my <laughs> evocation wizard. Burning hands, bitch. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, the druid was actually tack for tic tac toe, and he was a druid. the The turtle was a druid. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. He's a turtle druid. <laughs> so, so in actuality, are these the criminals, or were these the criminals we're looking for? Oh, okay. Well, uh, she Caro was the one riding off into the sunset. Uh, as I wrote it, I wrote it for a one shot or a campaign. Uh-huh. And the stolen item that the merchant was slain over was an amulet. She was trying to exercise the demons in the tower if this is played as a campaign. Hmm. Uh, <coughs> otherwise, it's recover the item in the criminal. Oh, okay. If you okay. would have gone into the room that was locked, uh, you would have found a dead wizard and a white uh, in their exploration of the tower. Uh, they suffered a loss, but managed to trap the white in the room. Okay, was that going to be our deadly encounter? <coughs> the white? Kara, Kara was the equivalent of an orc. Yeah, one she, I think it's she could have beat her ass like a drum. She could what? try. <laughs> no, why she probably you, would. She would. What, what, yeah. what was she? What? What class was she? Uh, she was a barbarian. Oh, Ooh, would have been Clash of the Barbarians. <laughs> yeah, she, she, would, she would have raged your ass, and she had the amulet of plus one protection. I had two uh, more no rages worry. left. There <laughs> was yeah, a, that amulet would have fucked me up. <laughs> yeah, there was a plus one long sword and a plus one dagger also lost in the tower. So. Uh, okay. uh, folks, that is 10 o'clock-ish. Uh, yeah. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed playing it. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our stuff or chat with us, get tiny URL. Uh, if you want a seat on uh, the, either the panel for Between the Rules, or if you want a seat to play, uh, hit us up uh, at mhobo inc uh, or mhobo inc at Gmail. Uh, we'll get you worked in. This Saturday is campaign night. Uh, we'll see how Carol and the other four dill holes handle it. My <laughs> guess is poorly, uh, but we shall see. Uh, they spent a rough time separated that they immediately got back together and then fucking split the party again. So, uh, but anyway. Oh, hey, wait, 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 wait. We did not. No. No, we're, we're back together, aren't we? I, I missed part of it. So they fucking split the party again? 
Blake uh, wandered off into an adjacent tower while Kyle went into another one and left the other. Yeah, but we're also, aren't we like across the courtyard from each other? We're still more or less in the same area. Well, okay, I, at least you're not in two different zones. <laughs> well, Blake had his own fight and Kyle had his own fight. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> But also, you guys all said I split the party. I'm like, I opened a door off the freaking room where the party was stationed. That yeah, is Carol, Carol split the party and was eaten by a gelatinous cube. It's your fault, Oh, jeez. So every, every, all, all five of those fuckers, except for Minnie, split the party. Screw this. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, right, that's, that's what we got on tap for Saturday. Uh, folks, we hope you enjoyed it. Like we said, if you want to see here, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and it's, you know, we aren't hung up on shit. So uh, come and join us. Uh, otherwise, we will see you on Saturday night. Everybody wave and wash your hands, folks. Wash your hands. Bye.